Hey, what's up guys? Coming back to you again with another Valk attack. Um, we're doing a stoned or cold-blooded uh, Govejo on this. And it, here's a base. It does not have max defenses, but what it has is pretty maxed out walls, high level heroes, and a pain of a base for multiple <laughs> reasons. And this is what causes most people trouble. So you got your queen over here. You need to kill her. You got all these high health buildings so it's gonna take a while to punch through there and then you got all this wide open spot where you know there's gonna be the traps are over there so how do you get to her when the best way you know to really get to that queen is probably you know through this area quick shot boom right there um, and that's what they want you to do so you can't do that so uh, how else would you get to her? Punch through these buildings? That's going to take forever. Um, but that's what you got to do. And these big spread out areas. This base was giving us trouble. And I, even though it's not super maxed out, um, you got to do what you can for the team and, and clear out the bases for the win. And this, this tech is what got us the win. So I had my options. I had to choose. Um, I wanted to minimize troops I bring, maximize amount of hogs to clear out possible trap spots. So let's look at those possible trap spots. Uh, right there, that's pretty obvious, probably a trap. Could be there, most likely not. Could be there, most likely not. Here, I'm going to say that's trap. Um, I'm not thinking that probably might be a Tesla. And uh, so that's what you got. You got to figure out how to get to here. Well, this, your hogs would run sideways, so I want to clear that out. Now, if I run my hogs in this direction and they're running front way, they're going to hit those bombs one by one. So I decided to do my hogs in this direction, you know, coming across this way. I know I'll back door and come out the bottom there. So they wouldn't hit any top bomb there. So I don't have to worry about that cell. Um, this cell, I'm going to run into them the right way. Uh, this cell would cause me a problem. The queen would definitely cause me a problem killing all my hogs. So I want to get to the queen. I want to tank up that middle and that's what I want to do. But to do that, I have to clear up all this mess to get to her. And with only one golem, she's pretty close at the wall. So if I set my golem, she'll probably just shoot and kill. And now I have no tank left. So here's what you have to do on base like this. Clear out the buildings you can without getting your wizards killed. So start, I started my couple wizards out here, start clearing into the wall as I get super close. Yeah. I'm going to throw my golem, um, ba -ba -ba, right there. I know the queen's probably going to walk out, shoot them up to Smith's, but that's going to allow me to clear out that last building. And I already have this cleared out. So I got my funnel made. Now, if I set my troops in here, they're going to automatically want to go in at that queen. I can throw my jump down there. Sorry, let's make that a little cleaner. I can throw my jump right here, which gets me in all this area. So that's going to be taken care of. And with my troops in there, they're going to start tanking all them expo fire. Now all I got to do is worry about slowly setting my hogs in so that they come, set off bombs singly, and I'm going to pull a clutch move, save hogs back backside just in case there's bombs there to have those couple hogs detonate it then my hogs can meet take out the rest of the camp game over let's look at it that's what happens and uh take a look so i come in um with my whiz you can see i bring them on the outside right they're just clearing out buildings they're getting closer to the wall I bring my golem in so I can set those last whiz up on the side. You know, I went kind of heavy on the whiz. Um, if you notice, I did go heavy on the whiz. I brought 15 hogs, five max hogs, nine Valks. I wanted to shred that up. I went heavier on Valks this time, which leaves me only with uh, 21 hogs. But the way I'm going to path them, man, I don't even know how many hogs I lost, like three. So, yeah, my golem's getting picked up, but here comes my heroes. Ready? Ready for the rescue. And nine Valks. I knew my golem would be pretty damaged, um, so that's why I brought nine Valks. Now, I didn't really know what was in a CC. I think he pulled out, I don't know, two Wiz and tons of archers, which can be a pain to punch through. But with these Valks going slap happy, let's watch that quick work. I throw down two of my poisons. 
didn't worry about saving one because I wanted those troops shred. And then as everything goes to work, I got my heel on them. My Valks set off that bombs beautifully. I come in with some nice hog action. So they're taking in them outside buildings, right? And let's take a look. My troops have already cleared out this entire zone, like I said. And they've moved up here, so they're still tanky, right? My queen's still tanky. My troops are taking the fire, so my hogs are free to smash through these buildings. And because of that linear double bomb, pow, there's one. They're under heel. I'm like, oh, crap, that one went early. But they're still under heel when they set off a second one. I know that's four bombs down the drain. I'm good. I throw in them back hogs um, just in case there was some bombs over there. A uh, couple bombs, just smaller bombs. My queen's going to work on them last buildings. Um, I threw in a bunch of cleanup troops on the back side. And lucky for me, those hogs, massive group of hogs, meet up right where my queen is. So she makes quick work of the king. So I have all them hogs left, troops left, whiz left, whatever. Game's over, three star. That's the win in the book, folks. So hope you like it. Uh, press like and subscribe. If you got any questions, go ahead and ask. Um, hope you guys are enjoying this Valk series. I'm having a lot of fun with them. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys. Check me out, Chemcord Twitter. Adios.